so you can see this is the mx linux home page mxlinux.org okay and uh, you can see uh, this is this is the uh, this is the very nice website okay three version you are getting xfc kde and fluxbox to download just click here and here is the download page and download links so now uh, either you can directly download or uh, you can use the torrent files okay so basically this is the direct repo mirrors and torrents so i will recommend to download via torrents so just click here and these are the torrent files so this is for mx23 uh, xfc 64 bit and this is the fluxbox edition this is the kde edition so whatever you want to download suppose for this video i am downloading the mx23 uh, that is the xfc flagship edition and you can see the torrent file has downloaded and with a BitTorrent client, I can easily download it. Now after downloading uh, the ISO file, you have to burn a pen drive. I will recommend not to use Ventoy because uh, I have used Ventoy but it will not boot in the real hardware. So you just use uh, Belena Icha or Rafas. Now let's see that how you can install this MX Linux, right? So actually uh, to make the partition, I will recommend to use the G parted. Okay, so first of all, just open G parted and demo is the password. And just make your partitions ready with the G parted because this is very, very easy. And I have also a full dedicated video for the G parted. You must watch that by clicking the I button. So this is, you can see, this is the new VirtualBox uh, hard drive. And uh, first of all, I have to make uh, a partition table first. So uh, create partition table so of course uh, i have to create gpt partition because uh, i am using the uefi bios so gpt is must thing so gpt all right apply yes now i have to create three partitions so one partition the big partition i am just creating and this will be my ext4 file system and uh, uh, well this will be my root partition right so <clears throat> so add this partition okay the second will be very small partition yeah of course 500 uh, mb of size almost uh, okay okay and this will be the fat 32 partition you just do all right add this and the rest of the things is you can make a swap partition so linux swap okay so these three partitions you have to create now apply apply all operations and click apply and now the partitions will be created so this is very very easy to do and you can see now these three partitions uh, have been created right now after making the partitions uh, this fat32 you just right click here and manage flags and you have to check the flags uh, ESP so this will be used as ESP system partition for booting purpose close it now click the installer And now customize the disk layout. Okay, so this partition, the big partition will be used as the root. And this will be used as the ESP partition. And this will be the Linux swap. All right, and then click next. Okay, now click yes. And you can see the process is going on. Now install the grub bootloader for Linux and Windows in the ESP partition. So yes, make it default. And these are some network configurations. Just click next. 
and these are the configuring the time zone so whatever your time zone you can you can do that from here and this is the uh, clock time zone and local time zone and for the user you have to create uh, create the username and then password confirm password well you can uh, create separate uh, root account okay but i am not uh, going to do that all right so just wait for some time uh, to completely install the system now installation complete and now you have to reboot the system so this is the uh, live uh, system of the mx linux and you can this is the nice con key i'm mentioning the time and hard disk usage memory uh, ram usage cpu usage and battery uh, usage right and you can see this is the mx23 uh, libretto okay and uh, when you go to the about you will see that uh, the desktop is xfc 4.18.1 so this is the latest xfc release and it is supported till 2028 okay so it's very long a uh, time okay so that's really amazing and the debian version is 12.1 so latest debian it is using and super stable distro and uh, you can see my specification of my laptop right now and the kernel it is using 6.1 so this kernel of course you can install uh, another kernel i'm just uh, showing you guys uh, and visually you will notice uh, that there are not uh, many changes uh, this wallpaper is new definitely and uh, and this menu this is all things are same as the previous releases okay so and the thuner file manager it is using you know that and this is the file manager right now uh, this comes with the latest xfc 4.18 uh, so all the features of that xfc desktop will be included in this uh, mx release and uh, the pre-installed programs are the same uh, as the uh, previous releases you can see uh, in the games and uh, in the graphics and in the internet firefox is uh, pre-installed here and also transmission and thunderbirds are there and in the multimedia a lot of things are there and vlc media player to play any media and these are the mx tools okay and uh, uh, the full uh, libreoffice uh, uh, it is giving and also there is the pdf arranger so you can play with the pdfs and these are all the settings okay appearance and all that so first of all uh, let's let's go to the appearance and here you can see uh, these are the pre-installed themes so advaita arc and blackbird and mx comfort right so these themes are there and these are the icons so papyrus icon theme it is using okay so all these things are same basically now coming to the mx tools first well these this is the, these are the mx tools and these mx tools are really the powerful hands of the mx linux okay mx linux is number one distribution in the distrowatch uh, website you can see that and uh, the reason behind that these mx tools okay it is of course it is uh, super stable because it is based on debian stable uh, but these mx tools are really awesome so you can see live usb kernel updater is there okay live usb maker so you can make bootable pen drive remaster cc so you can make a uh, iso backup of your system and also snapshots you can you can create and then you can boot from the grub menu and uh, also some boot options so you can configure the boot and boot repair okay so if uh, your bootloader is corrupted then you can repair also and uh, and you can uh, uh, install the nvidia driver directly from here and also this is the deb installer so any deb package you can install from here and uh, package installer is awesome I i'm just showing you guys uh, this is the so demo is the <laughs> password for the live system and now i'm showing you guys well now 
you can see uh, this is the these are the popular application and this is really amazing this package installer is really amazing so uh, when you click here you can see all these are uh, audio audio related softwares are there and the browser so you have a great uh, choice of the browsers okay so a lot of browsers you are getting here so whatever you want to install uh, you can just uh, check the boxes and then uh, click install and it's it, it will be installed so brave chromium falcon awesome browsers are there okay so you can use opera or ms edge or uh, chromium or brave browser right and also for the children uh, you are getting the packages of preschool, primary, and scratch and secondary. So all things will be uh, installed uh, in one click. And if you in, uh, want to install another desktop environment, so you can do from here. And a lot of other things you can see, the games, graphics, and now kernels. This is very, very important. So if you want to use other kernels, so this is the default kernel. You can see this is already installed. But if you want to install some latest kernel, so you can do that. You have the 6.3 kernel, 6.4, and uh, you can see 6.4 AHS kernel is also there from the uh, MX repository. So a lot of kernel choices are there. So go ahead, and that's amazing. Also, you can install different languages and offices. Now, if you uh, do not satisfy uh, uh, with the LibreOffice, so you can. Uh, install other offices right so uh, you can see you can install only office desktop editors from here also and softmaker free office is also available here and in the video uh, you can you have the different video uh, video editors here you can see that right and video players so this MX uh, package installer is really an awesome thing and uh, these are the enabled uh, repositories and this MX text repo, uh, Debian backports and also flat packs. So from all these repositories you can install the applications. And also some wallpapers are uh, added here. Uh, go to just right click here desktop settings and uh, And these are the these are the awesome wallpapers you can see so wallpapers are really good so that's that's uh, really amazing all right so you can use these wallpapers You will notice not any major change here but uh, all uh, softwares are updated and new functionalities are added uh, in each of the uh, softwares okay so uh, that's that's the thing of this release and uh, this is the uh, tax manager so how much ram it is using you can see only 1.2 gb of ram it is using so it is very much lightweight you can see but also uh, the mx uh, this is what you are uh, seeing. This is the MX uh, screen saver. So it is looks amazing. <laughs> okay, so if you want to know the changes in this release, uh, Libretto MX23, so you can uh, read the uh, release notes. And uh, these are desktop environment versions. And uh, now uh, MX tools are updated. You can see uh, with the uh, poly. Uh, policy kit configuration for individual uh, uh, softwares and a new application user install packages is available right and it, it will help you to clone the OS in different systems and MX snapshot uh, is updated and MX tweak is also updated and uh, now uh, MX updater uh, can be configured to use Nala as the backend rather than app so Nala is an amazing uh, command line application manager and uh, now all releases use the pipeware and uh, wire plumber instead of pulse audio for the audio uh, server and ufw firewall is enabled by default it may affect the printer if you <coughs> face some problem then you can disable it of course okay so that's all for today's video and uh, the my next video may be uh, about the mx linux 23 uh, kd and fluxbox editions okay so 
So currently I am just signing off and if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe my channel and thanks for watching guys and see you in the next video very soon till then take care and goodbye.